Hey everybody, this lesson is uh, rotation. So we've done translations, that was uh, module 17.1. We've done uh, reflections, which was module 17.2. This one is a rotating one. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com and then um, uh, make sure you click the integrated math one link at the top. So our question is, how do we draw an image under a rotation? All right, so uh, quick review, you guys. This is clockwise. It's the way your clock goes in your classroom. So when it goes to the right, it's clockwise. When it goes around to the left, it's counterclockwise. Okay, or you can use these symbols. I don't use these too much. I tried using those in this lesson. And it confused me. So, so this is clockwise, and then this is counterclockwise. That's how you know, your clocks go in the, in the direction. So here, we're going to start with rotation. So we're going to plot um, uh, the point A, which is at 4, 2. So to the right, 4, up, 2. So to the right, 4, up, 2. Okay, so when you guys forget how to uh, rotate, then go back to the, this is the basics of how we rotate things, you guys, okay? So now what we're going to do is draw a dotted line from the origin to that point. There it is right there. And then we're going to make uh, two more dotted lines, one of them horizontal and one vertical from that point. So horizontal, we're going to go straight over, and vertical, we're going to go straight down, okay? So there's that right there. And then now we're going to rotate that whole rectangle up counterclockwise about the origin. So which way is counterclockwise? This way. So we're going to go up like that, okay? So when we rotate that guy up, where is that new point being rotated? Can you see if I just stood this rectangle up? This point goes right there. This is at over 2, up 4. So negative 2, 4, okay? So uh, there's our point, and we'll call it A prime. So a little apostrophe means it's prime, A prime. Soon we'll do A double prime and all that right there, A triple prime, and you'll see. So notice that right angle right there. So the right angle with the origin connecting the two points, okay? So this right angle, if I went straight to the origin and went straight up, there's a nice right angle right there. That right angle means 90 degrees, and it went counterclockwise okay so this rotation is 90 degrees counterclockwise right there so if we take any ordered pair x y and we rotate that 90 degrees counterclockwise then it just flips them and becomes negative y x okay so you flip your x's and y's and change your your uh, this symbol right there change it to the opposite right there so this 4 2 90 degrees counterclockwise becomes negative 2 4 all right now now we're going to take this uh, ordered pair and predict um, uh, what the coordinate of A double prime, so two apostrophes means A double prime, would be if we rotated A prime 90 degrees counterclockwise again. Okay, so we're going to rotate this guy so it sits down 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, well using our rule, you guys, counterclockwise 90 degrees takes our xy and we and we flip them and change the sign. So this negative 2, 4, there goes my watch, becomes a negative 4, negative 2, okay? So this stays the same, this changes, and we flip them, okay? So negative 4, negative 2 is right there, okay? So uh, a prime, which is negative 2, 4, becomes a double prime, which is negative 4, 2, when we rotate it that 90 degrees clockwise again. All right, notice the relationship between a, which is at 4, 2, and a double prime, which is at negative 4, negative 2, okay? They are, they make a straight angle right there. A straight line from a to a prime is 180 degrees rotation. It doesn't matter if we go counterclockwise or clockwise, 180 degrees, this is 180 degrees this way, this is 180 degrees this way right there. So when we rotate uh, a point x, y, 180 degrees, it just becomes negative x, negative y, okay? So this 4, 2 becomes 180 degrees, negative 4, negative 2. If we rotate it 90 degrees, it becomes negative 2, 4 right there, okay? All right, so rotate uh, point B, which is at 2, 1. All right, uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin three times. So we're going to rotate uh, 2, 1. So 2, 1 is going to go right there, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So we're going to flip it, make it negative 1, 2. It's going to go right there. Flip it again. It's going to be uh, negative 2, negative 1 right there, okay? And we're going to call it B prime, B double prime, and then uh, B triple prime, okay? So here we go. There's B. 
There's a B um, prime, which is negative 1, 2. Let's rotate it again. It's going to be negative 2, negative 1. That gives us B double prime. Let's rotate it again. It gets us uh, B triple prime, which is 1, comma, negative 2. All right, now... What I want you to see is there's a 90 degree right there, and then we did another 90 degree, which is right there, and then we did another 90 degree. That gives us a total of 270 degrees right there counterclockwise. 270 degrees counterclockwise is uh, the same as... Um, as 90 degrees clockwise right there. So when we rotated it to 1, uh, 270 degrees, it became 1, negative 2. What relationship do you see right there? Okay, they have the relationship of we just flip them and change the x sign right there. So a 270 degrees counterclockwise rotation is the same as a 90 degrees clockwise rotation right there. Okay, so uh, if we have a, a rotate it clockwise, it becomes a, a y negative x. If we take x, y, and uh, so this uh, 2 comma 1, when we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, becomes 1 comma negative 2. Okay, you see how they flipped, and we changed the sign of the second one right there? All right, that's when we flip it 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so here we go. If we take x, y, and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, it becomes negative y, x. If we take x, y, and rotate it 180 degrees, you just flip them and change the signs. Well, don't flip them. Uh, x, y becomes negative x, negative y. All right, and then if we take x, y, and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, it becomes y, negative x. And finally, if we take it and just rotate it 360 degrees, it takes us right back to the same position right there. All right, so let's take this image right here, draw the image of the figure under the given rotation. Okay, so we're going to rotate this uh, guy 270 degrees, okay? Well, 270 degrees clockwise equals 90 degrees counterclockwise. I guess they're supposed to be clockwise right here, okay? So 270 degrees clockwise is 90 degrees counterclockwise. All right, so it should have said clockwise right there. Anyway, so 90 degrees clockwise, we're going to go x, y, and change it to y, negative x. So we're going to take all these x, y points and change them to y, negative x right there. Okay, so 0, 2 is going to become, we're going to change it to 2, 0. Okay, the opposite of 0 is 0. 1, 4, there's supposed to be a comma there. 1, comma 4 is going to become uh, 4, comma, negative 1. 4, 2 is going to become 2, negative 4, and this is going to become 1, negative 3 right there, okay? All right, and then, uh, so now we'll just plot those points. These are our A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, and then graph those guys, and there you go, okay? So if you forget, just uh, go back and take a look at section, I think it was J, and you can see the review on that. Okay, if you're in my class, I'm going to sign you guys that for your homework. Take care.